Before we get started diving into this, let's first take a look at some code that's been pre-existing. I've gone ahead and created a folder called Sports. Sports is created to allow us to show navigation into a subfolder. And I've created three uh, pages underneath Sports, baseball, football, and soccer. The reason for these three pages is to allow us to show that you can route to different pages based on different parameters. So now that we've seen the layout, let's go ahead and start with uh, our routing, our navigation example. First thing I want to do is create a hyperlink on my on my page, and we're going to say this. We're going to go to baseball static, and the first thing I want to do is actually populate my navigation URI. For my navigation URI, what I want to do is provide my folder, which is sports, the name of baseball.xaml. Now if I run this, I should be able to click this hyperlink and have it navigate to my appropriate XAML page. And so my application is loaded, I can go ahead and click the baseball link, and sure enough it does route me to the appropriate page, but it takes me to a page called baseball but does not provide me a title. Well the reason for that is I'm not passing any values from page to page, and I'd like to, and I'd like to do this via the query string. So how do we do that with static route? The first thing I need to do is actually come in here and provide team equals Braves. And that will actually provide me the ability to navigate to one page or the other and provide a value to it. But before I can actually utilize that value, I do have to write some extra code in my baseball XAML page. So I'm going to go ahead and override the on navigated to. And we're going to populate the list name from our navigation context. The navigation context is what allows me to reach into the query string and pull values out. So let's go ahead and rerun this and see if we can actually provide the value from page to page. So again my page is loaded, so let's go ahead and click the link again. And this time when it routes it does show baseball and also will provide me the Braves value that was from the query string. Well, that's pretty cool. Now the one downside to providing this information in a hard-coded fashion is that over time and over the life of your application, your folders and file names are very likely to change, along with maybe even your parameter names. And if you hard code it in this page and then any other page, you're going to have to go find it in every single place that you, when you make a change, and this is very tedious and very error prone. A better solution would be to utilize URI mapping and creating routes so you can navigate from page to page. So how do we go about creating the route? To do this, what I need to do is go into my app.xaml class. And first I need to add a new namespace. And what I want to do is I want to reference the phone's control name, uh, assembly in the system in a Windows navigation namespace. Next thing I want to do is come in here and make some changes into my visual route. And now we can actually start creating our mapping. So I'm going to create a URI and I'm going to say if I ask for baseball with a team, that this will actually route to my mapped URI, which happens to be sports, baseball, SAML. and provide it my team name. Now let's go ahead and create this for uh, two more routes. Now this last route is a little bit different. What I'm going to do is basically set up that if I provide a page name and a team, it will actually route to sports page.xaml. This is kind of a catch-all for routes um, so be careful when you do this because a lot of things can route it to could generate this route information and you may not get the results you expect. So now that I've created my routes, how do I go about implementing them? Let's drag another hyperlink button off this and we'll call this baseball routed. And versus providing my full blown navigation URI, this time I'm just going to provide my route.
and let's go ahead and copy this in and do it for football just so we can demonstrate that works for both football and the baseball route. So let's rerun our application and see if we can route to the appropriate pages. So my page is loaded again and if I click the baseball route, sure enough I route to my baseball page and I get my Braves name. I route to football, I route to the football page, and it provides Panthers. Well, that's pretty cool. Again, the power in these routes is that I can change this. And this doesn't have to, you know, follow my pathing, doesn't have to, you know, convey business value, but could just convey, you know, or, I'm sorry, uh, structural value could convey business value. And I can change this, and it's relatively independent to my all my actual folder structure and file structure. Now this last one's a bit interesting because I've not told it which page to route to. And, I, and what I can do in that is I can actually use dynamic routing to figure it out. So let's go ahead and create one called soccer. And let's go have a route to soccer menu. And let's rerun this and Remember, I don't have a route that's called soccer. I just have one that says page team, and it'll route to my sports folder and try to find a page with that exact name and provide the team. So I, if I go ahead and click soccer, hopefully it'll take me to my soccer page. And sure enough, it does. Soccer, man, you. And football still works, and all my other ones still work as expected. Well, that's pretty cool. That's another way that you can navigate from page to page, and that's utilizing routing. Now what if you're not using a hyperlink and I'm actually using a button or some other uh, UI control to actually perform my route, my navigation. Well, in our scenario here, we're going to go ahead and create a button. And I'm going to set it up so that when you click on this button, we're going to navigate from one page to the other. Within Silverlight, I can utilize the navigation service dot navigate and I can provide it the URI I want to navigate to. And here what we're going to do is we're going to say baseball cups. And our URI kind will be relative. And I'm done. Oops. Helps if I close out my parentheses and I'm done. So if I rerun this now, I should be able to click the button, have it navigate to the baseball page, provide Cubs as a parameter, and utilize in the baseball route. So my app's loaded, just click baseball, and sure enough, I'm able to route to the baseball page with Cubs. So there you have it. You have three different ways you can route to your application. One is by utilizing static routes. The other is to utilize the routing capability that's built into Silverlight. It lasts us to utilize the navigation service, which in turn can use either a static route or a uh, dynamic route to navigate from page to page. So I hope you learned something. Until next time.